This tutorial demonstrates how to create sprites and game loops in Hippo Animator. Sprites are what game developers call an item that moves around the screen. Here, we import an image of a beach ball to use as a sprite. Drag the beach ball to the editor and change its width and height to 100. Turn off the timeline so the ball can be controlled using script, and set the script ID to ball. In the movie properties, open the general script. This is where global variables can be declared. Create two new variables for the velocity of the ball. Ball velocity x is set to 5 and ball velocity y is set to 8. Any initial values will work. Now that we have created a sprite, we need to create a game loop. Fortunately Hippo Animator has one built in. The onUpdate script event in the movie properties is called every time the movie updates, just like a game loop. To move the ball sprite, set ball.x plus equals ball velocity x and ball.y plus equals ball velocity y. This adds the velocity to the x and y values of the ball every time the movie updates. Okay, let's see what we've created. The ball flies off the bottom of the player, it's moving far too fast. In the general script, adjust the values of the ball velocity to make it move slower. That's a better speed, but the ball still flies off the bottom of the player. Let's make it bounce. Earlier we set the width and the height of the ball to 100, so the radius of the ball is 50. The Y value of the ball is at the center of the ball. We can create a new variable, max Y, and set it to, get movie height, minus 50. This is the maximum Y value of the ball before it should bounce. If, ball.y, is greater than, max Y. Ball.y equals, max Y. Ball velocity Y, equals, minus ball velocity Y. Stop the ball from going off the bottom, and reverse the Y velocity so it goes upwards. Okay, so now it bounces but goes off the right. Create a max x variable, equal to, get movie width, minus 50. And, create a if test for the x value of the ball, just like the y value. It should be simple to create tests for the left and top bounce. If, ball.y, is less than 50, set it to 50, reverse the velocity and the same for ball.x. The ball now bounces off every edge of the movie. Export the movie to HTML using the default settings. Notice that the ball moves a little faster in the web browser. Every device and browser runs at a slightly different speed, but when developing a game, we need the animation to run at exactly the same speed everywhere. In the general script, add a new variable, last time, and set it to a new date value. The last time variable contains the exact time and date of the moment it was created. In the onUpdate script, we will calculate the change in time since the last update. Create a new variable, new time, and again set it to a new date. We can calculate the change in time by subtracting the get time values of the new and last time. Finally, set the value of the last time to the new time, ready for the next update. Now, when we move the ball, we can multiply the velocities by the change in time. This will make the ball move at the same speed on all browsers and devices. When we test the movie, the ball is moving too fast again. Adjust the velocities in the general script until the ball moves at a speed you are happy with. There we go. Finally, export the movie again. Notice that the ball in the player moves at exactly the same speed. 
as the ball in the web browser.